Hi children, let's come back to the science class. Have all of you got the science textbook? Yes, you have got the science text. Have you gone through the chapters? So, which is the first chapter in it? Yeah, it is about the components of food. Do you understand the meaning of it? Components of, you see it. Yes, before that, maybe I'll go to the topic. Before I go to the topic, let me ask you, what is the need of food? Is, there any, is it necessary to have food every day? No, no. Oh, you'll be happy without a, sitting without a, having food. Yes, what will you feel? You'll feel hungry sometimes. Or some people will be, some children will be very irritated. But you won't be able to understand. Why is it so? It's very important for many things. Yeah, it is important for our body to grow. Yes, your father, your Mother will be preparing good food. She will be sometimes running behind you to have it. For what purpose it is? It is. They want your people to grow. Not only to grow. It also helps us to get energy. Yes. And also some food help us to defend. It also attack the germs which is entering our body. Have you ever known about it? The food also helps in defending the diseases? No. So that is a main thing. For what purpose we need food? So in this chapter we are going to see the importance of food. Importance of food. So our first chapter is about is about the confidence of food. We find some topic here. Confidence of food. Yes. So the first chapter is the components of food. Before let me go in, let me ask you, have you ever thought? Have you ever think, thought about this? How do the food help you to grow? How does it help us to give energy? And how is it helping you to attack the diseases, defend against the diseases? Do you know it? Yeah, it is containing, food contains some important essential things. Which help us to grow, which help us to get energy and also to defend against the diseases. Yes. So the food contains some important things and those things which contain the food, which help us to defend against the diseases, which help us to grow, which gives us energy, those components which are found in the food, in, one, in a term, you can tell, you can call those components as nutrients. We can call them as the nutrients. So I'll write it here. Nutrients. So the things present in the food, the essential things present in the food, which gives us energy, which help us to grow which attack the diseases, those essential things, we can call them as the nutrients. Yes, so they are known as the nutrients. And in the food, in the food, not in one kind of food, different types of food, in all different types of food, what you are having, it contains different types of nutrients. Okay, that is, there are different types of nutrients. There are five main nutrients in the food. What you are having. So we will see which are the different nutrients. Or which are the five main nutrients present in the food. So did you understand the term what is a nutrient? Nutrients are the components or the essential thing which is present in the food that helps you to grow, to give energy and also to defend against the diseases. Those components that is known as the nutrient. And the nutrient, there are different components, there are different types of nutrients present in the food. And they are telling they are, there are five main nutrients in our food. They are, first one is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. 
and along with that I am writing another one more nutrient along with this I will tell for why, why I have written it along with this so I have written here carbohydrates and fats so we have got the first the main nutrient two I have written here carbohydrates and fats next proteins proteins and here these are coming they have the same function that is why I have written vitamins and minerals can you see it? Vitamins and minerals. If you want, you can just copy into your rough notebook. If you have a book with you, there with you, you can just copy this. So, the five main nutrients are carbohydrates and fats. I've written here itself carbohydrates and fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Yes. Now, you'll be, you'll be thinking, why I have, Ms. Nana have written here both together here? Yes. That is, I have written here because these, some, the, these two nutrients are the same function. Function. How is it helping us? Huh? So, nutrient means the essential component of food which help you to get some things. So, these two are giving you the same things. That is why I have written it together. Same with proteins and also vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals also have the somewhat the same function. For well, they are helping us to give you something. Both together. That's why I have written these two to here. Carbohydrates and fats and vitamins and minerals here together. Yes. Now I'll tell. I'll tell this. What now? What? How does it help you when you have the food rich in the carbohydrates and fats? How does it help your body? What does it do in our body? Yes. When you have the food rich in carbohydrates and fats, it helps. When you have it, it helps us to get energy. Yes, it helps to get the energy. So, if when we are having the food rich in carbohydrates, the nutrient carbohydrates and also the fats, you are getting the energy. Yes, so also you can tell, so we can call these nutrients or the food rich in the carbohydrates and fat as we call them as, I'll write here, the food Rich in carbohydrates and fats. What is the function of it? It gives you energy. As it is giving you energy, the food rich in carbohydrates and fats are known as energy giving food. Energy giving food. They are known as the energy giving food. Yes. So, the food rich in carbohydrates and fats. It helps us to give energy. So it is known as the energy giving food. Now let's come to the next one that is the proteins. And this is a main important nutrient as you are children, small children. Yes, it is a very important nutrient which you need. It is necessary for you people. Very, very necessary for you people. And the protein rich food you have, you should have it because... It is giving you, when you have this food, the protein rich food, it helps you to grow. It helps you in your growth. So, the food rich in proteins helps our body to grow. Okay. So, that food, that food which contains proteins, they are known as, the food which contains proteins, it is known as, Body building food. It's known as the body building food. So that is about the proteins. So you got the two functions, the functions of the two nutrients, three nutrients now. That is the carbohydrates and fats. It have the same function that that it is helping our body to give get energy. Yes. So when you have the food rich in carbohydrates and fats, you get energy. When you have the food rich in proteins, you get, you are able to grow. It helps in the growth of our body. So it is known as the body building food. Next is the two nutrients again here. They are the vitamins and minerals. Yes. Nowadays you might have, if you are hearing about the vitamins, you might have, you, you should have the fruits, especially the vitamin rich food, fruits and all. Why is it so? Yeah, there is a, there is a, 
disease spreading all over here and two different even when you are having the vitamin rich food milk rich food you will be you are able to protect or defend attack those viruses yes the germs so you might have understood what is the function of the vitamins and minerals what is it it helps us to attack the germs yes attack the germs defend against the diseases so the main duty of vitamins and minerals is to they are what is it to protect us from the diseases so the food rich in vitamins and minerals what is it vitamins and minerals help us to defend against diseases and it is known as the as it is rich help us in the protection it is known as the protective food the food rich in vitamins and minerals are known as the protective food it helps to protect our body from all the diseases so it is known as the protective food so we have divided the nutrients into five they are they are carbohydrates and fats proteins vitamins and minerals and according to the function what we are doing we are calling them carbohydrates and fat it gives us energy the food give, when you have the carbohydrates and fat rich food we give we get energy so it is known as the energy giving food then what's the function of the protein yeah it is helping us to grow helps the body to grow so it is known as the body building food next one is the vitamins and minerals it helps to protect our body from many diseases defend attack the germs which are entering our body so those food which are rich in the vitamins and minerals they are known as the protective food so it's better for you it's better to copy to your note not in the notebook in your in a rough notebook now i'll tell you when to start the notebook that i'll show you how to do then only you start in the notebook okay so just you can keep it you can keep up with a book with you as a rough note if you have you can write write the heading signs what is the chapter name and you can draw this and keep and write up so it will be easy for you to remember and keep so like this you write and keep and here i am not said which are the food next next part is which are the food that contains carbohydrates now all you don't think all the food contain all the nutrients together in one kind of food it is different so your work of food today huh? after this what you have to do is go through the chapter once more nicely find out which are the food rich in the carbohydrates and fats which are the food, which are the food rich in proteins vitamins and minerals that will be our work for for this for this class when i come for the with the next topic you have to be ready with the you should be ready to answer me uh, which are the food contain carbohydrate rich food fat rich food all those things okay children so just go through the chapter once more nicely write it nicely write this in your rough notebook learn it what are nutrients yes all the things components of food what are nutrients all these things define nutrient it's a very important question define nutrient if you, if it is asked you should be able to answer it what is it yes so all these things you have to keep it in your mind so with this we wind up today's class thank you children